So when we get into the shop, the very first thing we're going to practice is how to weld on a piece of metal that looks like this. So for now, I'm just going to set these two pieces aside and we'll focus on just the one. And so our first piece of metal, it's going to be decently sized, not too big, not too small. We're not going to work on anything that big just yet. We're going to start with something a little easier. And we're going to begin by taking our wire brush and we're going to lightly brush the surface of the metal. So go ahead and brush it down to break up any surface rust, get any debris off there, any kind of dirt, you know, all that nasty stuff that can interfere with the weld. And when you're done, it doesn't have to look perfect. Obviously, you're not going to bring it down to shiny metal using just a wire brush, but we, need, we do need to make sure to clean off any debris so that way we have a decent looking surface to weld on. And so if I take this, this is our welding electrode. What we're going to be doing is laying down a weld or laying down a bead from one side all the way across the piece of metal to the other. Think of it like you're drawing straight lines on the metal with the electrode. And the best way to get straight lines is just to draw them on the piece of metal so you have something to reference. So I'm going to take this piece of soapstone and beginning at one side, I'm just going to draw a straight line across. And so once we're done with that, let's go back to the welding electrode. So this is where we're going to begin practicing our technique. So let me go ahead and show you how we're going to hold the welding electrode in respect to the base metal. So for the first project we're going to be working on, we're going to be welding with our electrode straight up and down. We're going to lay that piece of metal flat on the working surface. And with the metal laying flat down on the table and with the welding electrode, uh, going straight up and down, this is essentially what we call welding in the flat position. So again, welding electrode straight up and down. Another way you can think of this is the welding electrode is going to form a certain angle when it touches the base metal. And if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about in terms of a right angle or 90 degrees, let me take my little protractor and I'm going to show you a little trick. You're going to lay the protractor right on top of the piece of metal and then you're just going to find 90 degrees on the protractor. So you can follow it starting on either side and 90 degrees is going to be right up at the top in the middle. And so you're going to align the welding electrode with the line that's marked at 90 degrees. And this is going to put you in the starting position for this weld. So just make sure that as you're welding that your angle doesn't deviate. Make sure that you're not turning it, you know, from side to side. You're not aiming the electrode towards you or you're not aiming it away from you, anything like that. Make sure that you stay at 90 or, you know, do the best that you can. Once you've done that, pretend that the welding electrode is inside of the electrode holder and do a couple dry runs, you know, pretend that you're going to start welding. So make contact and then just drag that electrode across the surface of the plate and get a feel for it. You know, while you're doing this, make sure that you're looking at the angle of the welding electrode. See if you're moving it around. If you're uncomfortable, change the way that you're standing or change the way that you're sitting in order to make sure that you can keep consistency from start to finish. Once you feel like you've got a grasp on it, then you can go ahead and get the electrode holder and basically do the same thing. Do a couple dry runs, but it's important to make sure that your welding machine is turned off right now. Otherwise, once you make contact, you're actually going to strike an arc. So make sure your welding machine is turned off before you do any of the dry runs. And for those of you who might be wondering how the welding electrode stays in the electrode holder, well, there are uh, grooves within the jaws of the electrode holder that can hold the electrode. And so that's where the bare metal end of the welding electrode inserts into the electrode holder. And so as I hold this welding electrode, you can tell that there is a difference in the two different ends. One is completely covered by the flux material and the other one is bare or bare metal. And the reason for this is the welding electrode has to have good contact with the electrode holder in order for electricity to pass through it, which is of course going to allow us to strike an arc. So to get started, we're going to pick up our electrode holder 
and we're going to apply pressure to the handle, which is going to open up the jaws, and then you'll be able to see those grooves, and then you'll just insert the welding electrode into the electrode holder. And then once you've done that, feel free to start your dry runs. And remember your angle placement. Your electrode is going to go straight up and down. It's going to be perpendicular to the workpiece. All right, it's not going to be angled to the left or angled to the right, and it's not going to be angled away from you, and it's not going to be angled towards you. You want to make sure that this is just straight up and down or as close as possible. And then start at one side, and then slowly bring that electrode across the piece of material till you get to the other side. And now I'm right-handed. And so you might be wondering, well, how does that play a part in welding? So when you're working with a welding process that produces slag, the rule of thumb is always drag the weld or drag your electrode. So being right-handed, I'm going to start at the left to drag the electrode over to the right uh, rather than start at the right and try to uncomfortably drag the electrode to my left. And then just the opposite, if you're left-handed, it's probably going to be a lot more comfortable for you to start at your right-hand side and then drag the weld over to your left. And then once we're able to master this, we are going to start introducing various angles at which we can uh, aim the electrode at the piece of material that we're working on. But that'll come into play later on. So go ahead and do a couple dry runs like so. And then once you're done with that, you're probably going to wonder, okay, how is it going to look like when we put all this knowledge to use? So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to put my PPE on, get my welding helmet on, get the machine on, and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is something that I forgot to mention while we were going through dry runs. So here, we're essentially gonna do another dry run. We're gonna get set up for it. We're going to take our electrode holder and we're gonna insert the welding electrode. And so part of the dry run is actually making sure that you're comfortable, ensuring that whatever position that you're in, you're gonna be able to hold it from the start of the weld to the end without having any breaks in between. And I'm talking about things like, are you leaning against the table and getting comfortable? Do you need to sit down? Anything like that. Just find a way that you can uh, you can get comfortable. That way you can start and finish your weld all in one go.